Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton gave speeches on Tuesday about the economy. And they were very interesting because in each one we heard a theory of the case of how to fix the economy and how to make the economy grow. These speeches couldn't have been more different and they really pointed up the differences in substance and style and specifics between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Let's start with Donald Trump. He went to a community outside of Pittsburgh, the land of steel and coal, and basically said American workers are being hurt by a global elite. I want you to imagine how much better our future can be if we declare independence from the elites who led us from one financial and foreign policy disaster to another. Our friends in Britain recently voted to take back control of their economy, politics, and borders. Now it's time for the American people to take back their future. We're going to take it back. Hillary Clinton's speech was far different. It was focused on the high-tech economy. She called for training 50,000 new computer science teachers, a speech that was about what Americans need to do to invest in education and invest in the high-tech economy to get ready for a globally interconnected world. Saying that you want to make America great again is code for saying we want to go back to the way it used to be. Forget about technology. Forget about inclusivity. Forget about giving everybody an opportunity to have a real shot at the best possible future. Well, that is not who we are as Americans. We don't go back. We go forward. But we got to go forward with intelligence and a real sense of purpose. Now, what's interesting politically in these speeches is that in them, the candidates seem to be playing to groups of voters who are already with them. They seem to be playing to their bases. Donald Trump, by talking about the perils of the global economy, will probably strengthen his hand among the working class voters who are already with him. But it remains to be seen whether that message will bring in the college educated voters he needs. Hillary Clinton needs to limit her losses among non-college voters, among working class voters. It remains to be seen whether a speech that talks about preparing for the global economy is what those voters want to hear.